Hey, what's up guys? Mike Lock here. Thanks so much for tuning in to this week's video blog. For those of you who watch me on a regular basis, I know it's been a while. It's been about four weeks since my last video blog post. I've been sick. I had the flu. I had laryngitis. I uh, had a bad cough, uh, bronchitis, all that stuff. Been out for like two weeks, but I'm back in action and I hope to be posting more frequently. For those of you who watch me, thank you so much. But in this video, I want to talk about how to critique a website, how to critique your website. And this is something that I've done in the past. I've done, I've had this for potential clients. I would have a form on my website. I would have people complete that form for a five point website inspection. And this is a good thing that you can probably offer to your customers, or you can do this to critique your own website or, you know, potential customer website. So, you know, take it however you want but these are five things that i look at and how i critique every website the goal of every website should be to do three things increase sales build brand awareness and improve customer relationships or build customer relationships okay if you're doing those three things you're in a good good spot okay so when i look at a website five things that i look for in each website. The first one being, I look at the overall appearance. Okay, so when I look at a website, I, make, I have to make sure that the overall appearance and the UI is tight and on point. So what I'll do, first come in, if the website looks good, I'll browse through you know four to five pages, and if everything looks good, it looks like the way it's supposed to be, and it works, everything is lined up, that's what I look for. Okay, so if that site is not, not up to par, if things are broken as I go through, and things aren't the way it's supposed to be or uh, it's not intuitive enough, um, that's, that's a, a mark on that particular point. So the overall appearance is the first one. The second one, I look for, I look for a message, the clear message, make sure that the message is clear on the website. So if you're providing a service, like a consulting service, I have to understand what this site is about. So make sure that the message is clear right on the homepage. If you're selling a product like a, a bike, or a camera or something like that or products let us know or let the user know what your site is about okay so clear message is number two the third one is content does your site have enough content uh, for the user for them to make a uh, an educated purchase okay so if you're selling something uh, did you give the user enough images or enough uh, bullet points or features or reviews on your product for them to make an educated decision on whether or not they should buy from you. Do you have testimonials? Do you have, you know, all these sorts of things enough when, when someone's really willing to or ready to buy from you, they need as much content as possible. So does your site have enough content? All right. That's the third one. The fourth one, I look for transparency. Um, who's behind the site? Who's the person that's running the site? Or who's the company um, that's running the site? Is there somewhere on the site that I can get a peek into the people or the person behind that website? My site's a good example of that. I have pictures of myself all over the place. I have videos. I'm on YouTube. If you Google my name, you can find me. I'm all over. So my transparency is wide open. People know who I am. They can sit for hours and watch my videos and learn them and learn a little bit about me before they actually make a purchase or interact with me. Okay, so transparency is highly important. That's the fourth one. The fifth and final one is blog. Does, does your site have a blog? And the reason why I look for a blog is every site needs um, a structure or a place where they can post frequent and dynamic content. Okay, so if your site's static and you don't have an area where you can post frequently or post uh, updated content, that's a, that's a problem. So you wanna have a blog on your website. So those are the five points. Overall appearance, clear message, enough content for the user, transparency, and blog. Okay, so if your site has that, you're on point. Now, if your site accomplishes all these things, what you wanna focus on, or what I tell people is that you wanna focus on what I call conversion optimization. This is continuous evolving of your site you have to continue to optimize your site for better conversions so that just that might means a b testing different things testing your buttons posting new videos to make sure that those videos are, are converting better than the old ones things like that so that's what i look for so those are the five tips for you 
And uh, if you start doing this, those are the things you can look at other sites and try to give advice on you know, potential clients if you want, or you can look at your own site and make sure that your site is up to par with those things that I just went over. All right, so hopefully this was helpful. If you have any questions, leave comments or visit my website and uh, hit me up. I'll be happy to answer anything for you. So thanks for watching and uh, we'll talk soon. Bye.